Welcome to this walkthrough of features in Flow CSV Editor. This is a continuation of the previous video about Flow CSV Viewer. Everything you can do in CSV Viewer you can also do in CSV Editor, so if you haven't seen that video I recommend you to see it before continuing with this video. Before almost all editing operations you can select the data to operate on. There are two modes of selection in Flow. Either you select entire samples, or you select values within the samples. First, ensure that the selection tool is enabled by clicking the Select Tool button. To select entire samples, place the mouse cursor in an unoccupied part of the chart and drag to the right. To select values, place the mouse cursor over a plot and drag to the right. You can also select values by first selecting the samples and afterwards selecting a variable in the variable view. When a variable is selected, sample selection automatically changes to value selection. Conversely, deselecting all variables by clicking in an empty area automatically changes back to sample selection. To change a single value, move the cursor to the sample that you want to edit then double-click the value in the variable view or press F2. Enter the new value in the box and press Enter. To change a range of values, select the values that you want to change. Then again, double-click the value in the variable view, enter the new value and press Enter. To delete a single sample, place the cursor on it, deselect all variables and click the Delete button or press the delete key. To delete a range of samples, first select the samples and then click delete. If you want to delete samples that satisfy a search condition, click find, enter the expression, and press enter to select the samples that satisfy the expression and click delete. To delete values, first select the values and then click delete. Notice that in this case all the samples remain, but the selected variable no longer has any values in the selected range. To undo any editing operation, click the undo button. You can do this multiple times to undo multiple operations. To regret the undo, click the redo button. To cut and paste samples, first select the samples and then click the cut button or press Ctrl X. Then place the cursor where you want to insert the clipboard data and click the paste button or press Ctrl V. Similarly, to copy and paste samples, Select the samples, click the copy button or press Ctrl C. Place the cursor and click paste or Ctrl V. If you want the clipboard data to overwrite some existing data instead of being inserted, click the insert button to uncheck it. If you now click paste, the clipboard data overwrites the existing data beginning at the cursor. Notice that when you cut or copy samples, insert is automatically checked, while when you cut or copy values, insert is automatically unchecked. To create a new CSV file with the clipboard contents, first click the New button to create a new empty file, then click Paste to insert the clipboard data into it. To remove a variable, right-click it in the variable view and select Remove. To rename a variable, right-click it and select Rename, then enter the name and press Enter. If it's a data variable, you can also just double-click the name. To convert a formula variable to a data variable, right-click it and select Convert to Values. 
Now you can edit the values just like with any data variable and it's included as another column in the CSV file if you save it. To change a data variable with an expression, right click it and select redefine and then enter an expression and press enter. Now this formula is executed once and then forgotten. To sort the data variable, right click it and under sort select either ascending or descending. If you want to sort only a certain range of samples, first select the samples and then execute the sort. To reorder variables, first ensure that all variables are placed in one single cell. This is necessary because this is the only way to see the true variable order, the order that they appear in in the CSV file. Now you can click and drag the variable names up or down to reorder them. That concludes the walkthrough of features in Flow CSV Editor. If you want to learn more, the full documentation is available in the help menu.